So it's very wet out there in many areas right now and breezy as well. We'll continue to see that rain and wind through about 10 o'clock tonight and then things quiet down. We'll fall through the 50s into the 40s. I think about 44 by 11 tonight and then tomorrow morning we wake up and things are relatively quiet. I think most of us are dry at 8 a.m. 42 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. By noontime the wind starts to pick up and the rain isn't far behind. I think we start to see some rain around 5 o'clock and then it increases through the evening and in to the overnight hours. We're talking the potential for an additional inch of rain overnight tomorrow night and even stronger winds than we've seen this evening. Here's a live look outside. You can see it's a stormy night in downtown Portland looking live over the very full Willamette River. 53 degrees with gusts up to 37 miles per hour in the last few minutes out at the airport. And here's live Doppler. You can see it's been fairly steady all day long. The rain heavy at times and very gusty, especially out toward the west side of town. I've had several reports a very strong wind gust there. You can see right now we're left with a cold front. Kind of hard to pick out, but that's the heavy rain that's moving through the heart of the city right now. I want to zoom in so you can see where it's really coming down over I-5. So if you're headed from Portland to Salem, the next few minutes you can count on using those windshield wipers in overdrive. All of this is headed off to the east and then we get a bit of a lull in the action. So isolated showers overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning and then we're dry through I think most of the afternoon and then that system arrives off in the Pacific. It's another strong front that will bring us very gusty winds and heavy rain. Let's play it out for you here on your rain and cloud forecast. We'll fast forward through the night tonight. Isolated showers tomorrow early and this is 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So most of the action is up north at that point, but we could start to see some rain around Portland and the heavier stuff rolls in overnight. This is 2 a.m. Monday morning. The rain is pounding on your roofs and it's very windy as well. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour in the valley. By noontime, things has, have quieted down a little bit on Monday, but it's still quite wet and the snow's coming down in the Cascades above 3,000 feet. We'll still have showers through 10 o'clock Monday night and then here comes another storm system. This is 10 a.m. on Tuesday. A very strong front rolls through uh, in the late morning hours, early afternoon hours on Tuesday. So it's just one storm lined up after the next. So what are we talking as far as rainfall is concerned? Our model indicates close to two inches of rain the next 48 hours in Portland and potentially more than two inches of rain in Salem and Corvallis and look at out along the coast. We're talking maybe four inches additional rainfall in Tillamook. That's the reason, of course, we've got a flood watch in effect everywhere west of the Cascades and a flood advisory for central Oregon. That's until two o'clock tomorrow. The flood watch is all the way through Monday for the valley and out at the coast and the winds tomorrow. High wind watch begins at noon out along the coast. Winds sustain 30 to 40 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour gusts are possible, especially tomorrow night in the valley tomorrow evening and overnight gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Some locations could see 50 mile per hour gusts late Sunday night and central and eastern Oregon. You are not immune. You'll also see gusts up to about 40 miles per hour late tomorrow. Heavy rain develops tomorrow along the coast by evening time and a wind watch goes into effect 60 to 80 mile per hour. Again, 85 mile per hour in the beaches and the headlands through the I-5 corridor, increasing rain and wind with those strong gusts late. So it's going to be quite stormy around here for the next several days. Monday, wet and breezy early and then scattered showers by afternoon. Tuesday, another front moves through and then Wednesday looks a little quieter, but we're watching the temperatures toward the end of the week mm -hmm. because we're getting chilly. So there's the potential we could see some snowflakes mixing in with that rain. Wow.